right on. So these, these are gonna look very similar to what they look like on Tuesday, except for we're facing a different direction on the board, all right? It's very, very important to make sure that you are loading your heels on reverses. We want whole foot balance, we want to load our heels. Now, as in the videos, you can see, well, here's our magic position, okay? On your reverses, come on up, McKinsey. Remember, we have the slant board so we can feel the load on the heels. So drop down into magic. Now on backs, you can get a nice, deep, deep squat. It's about the deepest squat we can get is on backs. Reverses is about the next deepest. If you go as deep as you do on fronts and reverses, your knees are gonna have some issues and you can buckle. All right, buckle when your knees go out, pop back on your butt or your back on the board and you look silly, all right? Now, remember, picture that center of mass center of gravity. When she's bent, it's slightly right out in front of here. That needs to stay over the heel. So if it's right there in her belly, she still needs to shift back just to here. Now, my fist right over those heels. Does that make sense? All right? Now, stand up from the butt. Now those hips, she stood up from the butt. They gotta stay over the heel. Walk back down, okay? Center of mass gotta be over the heels. When you do it right, your toes should almost loosen up. See how she can pick her toes up? That means she has more weight on her heels. Most of you have all your weight on your toes on every takeoff. Okay? Of course, backs and inwards. But on fronts and reverses, you're forward on your toes. So that's where we have to be. All right, everybody stand up. So voluntaries go straight up the line. We maximize height on our voluntaries. But we have to have that same load. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna model through the reverse. We're gonna do it with the hurdle. Everybody ready to go one step hurdle? She's gonna be doing it up on there too. We're gonna bend together, straighten together. Up on toes, we're floating in the air. Remember how long Tyler kept his arms up? Now we're gonna drift and draw. We're getting ready to catch. Now we're gonna catch the board. Feet drop in flat, arms in locate. Feet should be flat. Arms should be in located, palms are up right here. And then we're gonna pull. Now, when we pull, I want you to make sure your shoulders are over your front pockets, but I want you to feel your body, your hips, shift back so your toes get loose. Get all the way up on the floor. There you go. Then, shift back, shift your hips back. You'll feel your toes come up, all right? That's where you gotta be on the end of the board. When you get there, it's a scary feeling. It's a scary feeling. The board's down hill though. What's the board's objective to do with you always? Push you out. If you ride the board, the board pushes you out. If you land on the board and get freaked out, pick up your tongue. You're not going out very far, okay? Your safety net is riding the board, okay? Riding the board on gainers. Number two, never pull your shoulders. Go back down magic position. A lot of divers will be a little bit forward on takeoff. They know they're forward. So as they stand up, they pull their shoulders. Okay? And what that does, puts your center of gravity in a very bad position back into the board. So when you spin up, you kind of spin up and not spin up and out. You don't get on that parabola, so you get close to the board. Okay? A lot of people hit on reverses. They hit their hands, but please understand, it's not because they're too close. If you look at nubs over there, <coughs> nubs over there is at about three and a half to four and a half feet. Okay? He's at about three and a half to four and a half feet. So when you're watching on this Kivo, you should be watching your entries for your reverses. You shouldn't be out in that up. Okay? Reverse guys should be about three feet from the end of the board. Reverse one and a half to four, four and a half feet. If you go out past that, what are judges going to do? It does point. Okay, because distance is an issue in diving. Height is also an issue. Okay, not necessarily an issue. It's something we want to gain. So we have to maximize that by getting the best balance. Balance comes first. Balance, motion, timing, distance, and power. If you're not in balance, nothing else matters. Right? So, talk about some of the other forms of rotation that we get. What was the first one we talked about for back? Yes, everybody show me reverse foot flap action. Push down and back. And your feet go up and forward. Is that mine flipping backwards? Don't our feet come up and forward? Yes, so we push down and back. Just remember on back. There's barely anything to push down and back on. Okay, reverses, you have full foot balance. So it's gonna be easier or harder to get rotation. 
easier. You just saw a girl do a reverse two and a half, right? Okay, turn around backwards. I don't see a lot of girls do back two and a half. I don't see a lot of guys do back two and a half. Don't move. But the last one to get from the two and a half, they'll do a front three and a half before back two and a half comes back. You're going to do a front three and a half so much easier. Because backs, the position that you're in on the board, how much connection you have to the board, your friction, you don't have much. You're in that position. Okay? Reverse is you're in a good position if you can find this magic. Alright? If you can find this magic. So we got foot push, action, reaction. What else do we have? What else do we have? Backs and reverses. We use our feet to get rotation. What? There's seven forms of rotation. Front sleeve is eccentric trust. We don't really use that for reverses. We have double action react. That's AR, AR. So, model with me up there. First action reaction with our feet, right? As soon as your feet come off the board, they start going up. Now, how would we speed those up? Yes, by using our arms. So, here's your center of gravity. What happens when your arms go up to your center of gravity? What's it do? It goes higher. You now have more weight above it, so it shifts up. Now I can spin up. Some of you get your arms up, but when you take off, you drop your arms right away. Are you going to spin up or down? Down. The center of gravity goes down. It's got to go up, so we have to have those arms up while take off. If you drop your arms, the reverse is going to probably smack. Because you're going to go to here, you're going to get stuck, and you freak out and open up. Right on your lower back. Okay? If you keep your fingertips up and do a skull bar tuck up, and lift your hips up, that's all you got to do. Get your hips from underneath the shoulders to out in front of the shoulders and you have a reverse step. Without pulling your shoulders. Okay? So, you take your hips and you get them from down here, right up here in front of your face, you can make a reverse step. Because that puts you right here, right? What can I do from right here? I can stay up, can I? Yes, some of you will come off the board and you'll bring your arms down and you'll be right here. Can I kick up from here? No. So you have to be in that, in that position where your hips are rotating. Just like on fronts and inwards, we focus on our hips going up behind. We have to focus on back straight versus taking our belt buckle and driving it up through the ceiling. Okay? So AR, AR is whatever happens below the center of gravity is reflected above. Whatever happens above is directly reflected below. So if I go through vertical and throw back forwards, this action up here gets this reaction down here. So your legs speed up. Is that good, right? Time to closer is big. Because the faster you can get in, the more silver cells you can do. Some divers just don't get in the right direction. They go, I'm fast. But they don't give any direction. Fingertips, everybody arms up. Flatten your back out like you're on the wall. Good. We already, we're already stood up from the butt. Would you agree? Legs are already straight. I want you to do reverse dive, back dive. Reverse dive, back dive. So I'm standing up from the ankles and I'm tightening my core and blocking my shoulders. From that point in time, feet would come off and they would raise up. My upper body doesn't move. My upper body does not move. Lower body rises up. Okay? Lower body rises up. Now let's get some rotation going. You saw Kristen in the reverse two and a half. She had to get back through here to get started to get enough going. She had to get out of the way of the center of gravity to be driven up through the force line. Alright? So now, we're all stood up, right? Same place. Stand up from the butt. Arms up. Hips under. Like your, your hips are over your heels. Your toes should be slightly loose. Now this one, we're going to push through vertical. Fingertips have to go through vertical before your feet come off the board. If you pick your feet up, you don't get your hands back, you can't spin up. You can spin a little, but you can't spin up as strong as that. So we're going to push through the ankles, put your tips on the bird, tips in. From here, we're going to slam and throw back. And your feet would really be coming up at that point in time. Try that again. We stood up from the butt, push your feet, slam. Good. Now, that's when we're trying to create the somersault. You gotta get your vertical first on your somersault. You gotta have your heels loaded. 
Okay? We gotta stand up from the butt and make sure we're going up before we start to spin. Okay? You okay with that? So on here, let's go through the optional. Bend together. You're gonna watch this because you'll do it on the other stage. Straight together. We'll stretch, full we'll stretch. Drift and draw. Now she lands on the board, arms in locate. Close your heel. Good. Now she's gonna pull those arms up. She just got off her heels. You see that? Her heels came up when she swung her arms. You got the heel. You gotta stay loaded on the heel. Now, head to the left. When we are in this position, our eyes go to our high spot. High spots 10 degrees above horizontal. So right now I'm looking at you. Oh my gosh. It's that big yellow tube on the other side of the pool. Look straight across. Go about 10 degrees up. It's the light green and the big yellow thing. So when you're coming off the board on your gainers, you should not be looking down at your feet. You should not be looking down at the water. You should have a heavy, level head looking at that because that's what you're going to jump up and try to connect to. Okay? So spotting is very important. You've got to know where you're at and where you're headed. Okay? All right. Stand up from the butt. And then we push the seat. And we hop. Good. When you're on the slight board, you don't have to come all the way back. Voluntary. Lock. Optional. Seat. Slam. Got to get fingertips converted. We are. We're going to try. 